Hey everyone, welcome to Ember 2 Night Rider coding series where we bring coding to life with robotics. I'm Shehab aka IT Samurai Teacher and today in lesson 1 we are coding a Night Rider LED scanner for Ember 2 with an added twist an obstacle detection system using an ultrasonic sensor. If you love coding, AI and robotics, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future lessons. Let's get started. Alright, now first let's head over to my website www.samuraiteacher.com Click on Tutorials and under Ember 2 Projects, you can see Ember 2 Night Ride Lesson, click that. So once you click, you will see like this. Now, here I have created animation to help you visualize how this code works before we jump into it. Now, let's turn on the animation by click this button. Just like turn it on your Ember 2, right? Now, Ember 2 start moving with green Night Rider LEDs. Now, when I put an obstacle, it detects obstacle and stop and turn it to red Night Rider LED light. Now, once I remove the obstacle, can see it will move forward again with green night rider lights. This is exactly our Ember 2 will behave when we upload our code. Below this animation, I have included the full code for free. But there's a little challenge. It's password protected. To get the password, watch somewhere in the middle of this video. It will flash on the screen for a few seconds. And I have clearly put all the description what this code is going to do. Now, I'm going to enter the password and here's the code. And I'm going to copy the code and I'm going to jump into my Ember 2 uh, Python code editor, mblock. You can use any Python code editor, but if you download mblock, the default, their code, they have a code with Python, it is very easy. So I just paste the code in here and I'm going to connect my Ember 2. You can see connected. So now I'm going to upload. Now before I upload, I will explain the code so you have a good understanding of the code. Now on the code, the first we can see import. Now at the beginning of the script, we import four important, actually one, two, three, four, five important libraries. Uh, first one is mbuild, used to access mbo2 sensors. mbo2 controls the mbo2 movement like forward, backward, stop each event, allow the script to automatically start execution when the program runs. We have Time enables delays and timing functions. CyberPy control LED sounds and screen display on Embo 2. Now let's talk about the next section defining the Night Rider LED scanning function. Now in here, the first one for I in range 8, this is loops through 8 LED, assuming the Embo 2 has 8 LED positions. After that, we can see CyberPy LED on color ID. This part turns on each LED one by one in the chosen color. After that, we have time sleep, adds a shorter delay for the smooth transition. And we have CyberPy LED off ID uh, I turns off LED before moving to the next one. Now, in this section, LEDs move from right to left. Right, so the first one loops backward from LED 6 to 0. So those, the, the effect mirrors the famous Knight Rider scanner movement. How cool is this, right? The Knight Rider circuit front of you right now. So you can use for Ember 2 or any LED CyberPy project. All right, now let's go to the next section. We're going to start from here to here right that's the last one so detecting obstacles and controlling movement so there's a two main parts from night rider and this one right it's very easy now in here the distance so 
reduce the distance in centimeter of an object detected by the ultrasonic sensor. If distance minus 10, it means object is in front of the robot, right? And after that, we can see the stopping the robot if an obstacle is detected, MB, MB2 forward zero and stop the MB2. After that, we can see do night rider scan red here. It says that runs the night rider LED effects in red to indicate a stop. And after that, we have moves the robot forward to speed 30. You can change this to high speed if you want, but always change the speed and test it out. Because if you put more speed, then the object is not going to detect because it's too fast. So make sure you change the speed and test it out. And after that, we say do night rider scan green. So runs the night rider LED effects in the green while moving. Very simple. And we put adding a small delay, 001. So prevent excessive CPU usage while checking for obstacle. That's why we put more delay. So once you change the speed, probably you need to change this too according to the, the Ember 2, how it detects the obstacle movement. So just in case, if this code not work for you, make sure you change these settings and work around and see how it goes. It's for lesson number one for our Ember 2 Night Rider coding series. Now, this is just the beginning. In our upcoming lessons, we're going to modify and upgrade this project step by step. We're going to add sound effects, turning around when block, customize LED effects. We're going to do more projects. We're going to build a ton of cool robotics projects and learn Python step by step. So if you want to master Ember 2 coding and build awesome AI driven robots, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future lessons. Got any ideas for futures? Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next lesson.